Okay, we're ready. Hello, my name's Vanessa Winship. I've got George behind the camera here and I'm going to take you on a tour of our book collection. Uh, but first I thought I'd just show you the, um, the first books I ever bought. Um, and this is pre-internet, um, 1983. This is Walker Evans at work. Um, I don't think I really appreciated why this was such an important work. It was just instinct that told me it was. Um, the second book I bought, and uh, in fact, this is not the original uh, copy. I lost that somewhere along the way. And it's another American photographer, Dwayne Michaels, and it's the, the book's titled Real Dreams. Um, I never bought another book of his, uh, but anyway, uh, I wanted to read you um, what he what he wrote, I think is really interesting. Um, a failed attempt to photograph reality. How foolish of me to have believed that it would be that easy. I had confused the appearances of trees and automobiles and people with reality itself, and believed that a photograph of these appearances to be a photograph of it. It is a melancholy truth that I will never be able to photograph it, and I can only fail. I am a reflection photographing other reflections within a reflection. To photograph reality is to photograph nothing. I just don't know if you can. But anyway, I, I, I like the way he used um, um, pictures and words, and I think it's something that I've been sort of interested in um, throughout. How do you marry? Uh, images with words. So I, I, I ended up in the early 80s at, at um, the Polytechnic of Central London and the, uh, the, the course leader was a man called Victor Bergen who was himself very um, interested in the use of image and text and how it changes meaning. Uh, another uh, influential person uh, is this woman, uh, Jo Spence, her work putting myself in the picture. Um, this was a, a, a time of uh, fe feminist uh, theory and, and, and so Jo um, basically explored her, her, her body. She's one of the sort of early people to have done that. Um, after after um, uh, several years of, of, of theory, um, which was extraordinary, it was, it was fantastic to discover this work. Uh, which I did by chance, the work of a Spanish photographer called Cristina Garcia Rodero, Hispania Oculta. And it's very, um, it's a fantastic extended document of um, ceremonies, religious ceremonies in Spain. Um, next book I want to show is a, is a work by... Um, Another American photographer, Paul Fusco, um, the RFK funeral train, and this is a work that was was basically shot from the window of a, a, a train of um, the 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 um, collective mourning of of um, the train, the the um, an extraordinary document. Um, another another photographer who's um, I really respect is a is a, a South African photographer um, David Goldblatt who was an extraordinary uh, his his work is extraordinary he was a, an incredible portrait photographer but not not only and he almost never left South Africa um, there's just so much needed to be documented there. Um, of, of course, um, August Sander. I have, um, have a big collection of August Sander books, but uh, I thought I'd just <laughs> show you this little book for ease of... Uh, um, and that I wanted to uh, sort of bring this picture of course, it's a very famous image of, of August Sander. It's called Three Farmers. 
Um, in fact, they weren't farmers, they were miners. The reason I wanted to, to show it was because it was, um, it was the photograph that uh, a writer who I'm also very influenced by, uh, Richard Powers, and he used um, this sander image to to, to the, and the and the characters within this picture to to to, to create a fiction. Um, uh, what am I doing now? Maybe I should look at this. This is probably a, a work that most people won't have seen. It's 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 called Negatives to be Stored. And it's the work of a, a Polish photographer called Stefania Gederova, and I haven't pronounced her name correctly. But what I particularly like about this work is, is the fact that um, she was um, she had a, 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 a portrait studio, um, and that was quite a, a, a thing in, in those times for a woman to to run a portrait studio. What I really like about it is the fact that um, these are all glass plates and the people who came into the studio, she only ever used half a plate for each of her clients. And so the people ended up um, serendipitously together. And uh, I, I, I really like that as, as a, a thought. That's a wonderful book. And then uh, I also like this book. It's a collection of um, so-called um, um, amateur photographs and they're all archived images. Um, two French curators and historians put this work together. The contemporary um, is, is um, a woman called Melissa Cantonese and she makes her own photographs but she also puts together work with with archive and I particularly like this book Voyagers it's all about the act of reading um, which of course is very important um, I think I'll go to um, let me show you the Stéphane de Roy. This is another, this is a French photographer, Stéphane de Roy, and I like his work. He's always worked in, in book, book form, and his books are very, um, he, he has very few images in all of his books. Distress is a work made in, 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 in Britain and Ireland, Northern Ireland. And then unknown is essentially work made in 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 the states. So if I can just show you a few pictures from from his. Um... And the reason I wanted to show Stefan Dewar's work is because he recently has has decided to. Um, unpick I guess and, and 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 rework his work so this book is is how he has um, taken apart and and put together again some of his work he's he, he's he paints over this work and so he's I mean it's a huge installation and this is the book he ended up making of this And um, the publisher is 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 Filigran, who 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 is the publisher he's he's worked with for forever. Um, I want to show you another um, landscape photographer whose work I like, Jem Southern. Um, another incredible, and um, again another. American photographer, uh, Westwood, The Course of Empire. Incredible. These are all where trains once went.
And if I to to speak about um, landscape, there's a quite a lot of um, contemporary photographers who are who are looking at at landscape, and I think one of the finest um, photographers around at the moment is a is a photographer called Brian Skutmack. And he's actually, he's not only a landscape photographer, he, he's actually, to, to my mind, one of the finest portrait photographers, and particularly of, of, of men. And, and for me, he's, he has incredible affection for um, the landscape and the people that he 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 finds and good goddamn another one of his books um, is the time he spent with a, a a friend of his before he ended up in in prison. I really like his work. It's absolutely sincere. And, um, okay, so so to to move back a little, um, and another. Uh, about walking and so I wanted to uh, show you the work of Paul Gaffney he's an Irish photographer and this this work is um, is, a, is a pilgrimage and he ended up walking some 2,000 kilometers um, sort of meditation the act of walking and maybe I maybe I'll just read you a little um, quote so so the, the the title of the book is actually we make the path by walking so um, it says this is a poem by um, Antonio Machado um, wanderer there is no path wanderer your footsteps are the path and nothing more wanderer there is no path the path is made by walking. By walking one makes the path, and upon glancing back one sees the track that must never be trod again. Wanderer, there is no path, only wakes upon the sea. I really love this work. Um, I guess one that's not a, a, a surprise um, is... Um, um, Robert Adams' Summer Nights Walking. Um, I, I'm fairly late to appreciating Robert Adams' work. It begins with a poem by William Blake. I love William Blake's writing, so it's a prayer to the evening star, and I won't. Um, but what I really like about this revised edition is at the end, there's a little, a few words from Emily Dickinson, which reads, um, This world is just a little place, just the red in the sky, before the sun rises. So let us keep fast hold of hands, that when the birds begin, none of us be missing. Mm. And then um, this is a, a work by uh, Charlotte Tangai. Uh, she's a French photographer, and, and this work is published by uh, Local, a, a French publisher. And, and actually, the, the title is um, a conjugation of the word to dig in, in Russian. But of course, in English, it, it, it reads poem. And this is um, partly about losing all your frames of reference when you don't understand a language. So you're completely reliant on what you see. And there's a kind of clarity in, in doing that. And I'll, I'll read to you what um, she put at the back of the book. And this is a a piece by um, Samuel Beckett. 
<sighs> on the one side, the outside. On the other side, the inside. That can never be as thin as foil. I'm neither one side nor the other. I'm in the middle. I'm the partition. I have two surfaces and no thickness. Perhaps that's what I feel, myself vibrating. I'm the tympanum. On the one hand, the mind. On the other, the world. I don't belong to either. And now if I go to, um, to, to bookmakers, and there are several... Um, bookmakers and, and, and one of the people I really like is uh, Raymond Meeks who has for many years made handmade books and they're these tiny little editions of um, photographs and um, prints They all come together and they're, this is Erasia. They all come together in these little. He repurposes. And this is this very strange paper that he's chosen. And quite often it's his works about ephemerality. Emerality. So I really very much like this work. Um, then um, I want to show you the work of Stephen Gill, who's uh, another photographer whose work I really like. And uh, Stephen Gill was one of the sort of early people to to, to self-publish, and he's somebody who who. Um, spends time in his, his, his locality. So this is Hackney Flowers, a place where he worked for many, many years. And he's somebody who, over the course of um, his, his, his life making photographs, he's, 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 he's in a certain way playing with the medium and, and trying to lose control of it. And so eventually he's ended up with um, um, night pr procession um, his 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 book where he used um, motion sensor camera, which he which he literally placed in a landscape, and when the um, whoever or whatever moved in front of it triggered the, the 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 camera shutter, and the same with the pillar, his most recent work. Um, again, he placed a. A, a camera in in one position and just waited for the um, the motion of whatever came in front of it to trigger the shutter. Really love this work. And since we're um, um, back in in uh, Hackney, this is a photographer whose whose work I really like. Um, it's a it's a Modest little book called The Marshes. Again, this was all made in, in um, Hackney Marshes in, in London. And what I like about this book, it's a, it's a little press. Um, I like about this book. So it's, it's Josh Lustig and um, uh, Samuel Wright. And what, what they've done really cleverly is they've put together... Um, image and text. So, running through the book, there's a there's one story that goes all the way through the the, the book, but in between there are these sort of mini narratives. So, I I, I really like this book, and I I bought several editions of it because it's such a nice one to. To, to carry around with you. Um, so it would be remiss of me if I didn't show the work of uh, George. This is George Giorgio, who's behind the camera. This is American, Americans Parade. 
and this is um, his own um, imprint so it's BB editions it's a self-published book and it's basically um, he moved across the States photographing parades or rather photographing people watching parades um, for me it's an incredible work of course I would say that but um so um, I won't dwell too long on it but it's it's a wonderful book and it has a little bit of text by um, me and David Campbell <laughs> um, um, and the next book uh, I want to show is a, um, a work by Michael Ashkin uh, were it not for um, by FW Books and uh, actually George bought this book but it's a, it's an incredible work and and what it is um, there is essentially it says were it not for over and over and over and over and over again were it not for and throughout the course of the work were it not for the cowardice were it not for the terror were it not for the marketing of the terror were it not for the desire to sleep and all the way through the work is this repeated were it not for the false community were it not for the private militia and on and on and on and how man has impacted on nature and then um, maybe the Maybe the last book I am is um, um, a book by Aaron Schumann called Slant. Um, and Slant is taken again from um, Emily Dickinson's um, poem. Here may I read? Um, I'll read the poem. Um, tell all the truth, but tell it slant. Success in circuit lies, too bright for our infirm delight, the truth's superb surprise, as lightning to the child ease, with explanation kind, the truth must dazzle gradually, on every man, or every man be blind. Sorry about that. And so, very, um, all of this work is actually made in Amherst, uh, where Dickinson happened to be from, and it marries together um, um, text taken from um, local paper, police reports, and um, images that he's shot in and around Amherst. Um, suspicious activity. An Amherst woman told the police a neighbour who has behaved in an odd way is using a camera to photograph her home. So it's a book of disquiet. Yeah, I like this work. And then I think finally I'll just take you on a little bit of a scoop around the, the rest of the Howard bookshelf. So, uh, uh, Ronnie Horn, uh, Greg Halpin, uh, I see George's book is in there several times, um, <laughs> um, Alan Sakula, um, Mike Disfarmer, um, Paul Graham of course, um, you just keep going George. Um, Carolyn Drake, um, Philip Lorca de Corsa, um, Deborah Luster, Tooth for an Eye, Cindy Sherman, Paul Graham again, Veronica Dijkstra, Katie Drannan, and then um, over here it's 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 um, a lot of our books and, and and books that I'm sort of looking at now or we're looking at now. So Bill Owens is a 
Bold Favour for George's, American Origami, Gideon Mendel, um, and then <laughs> I'm being told I have to go to this. So this, so this is my um, shelf with um, scrapbooks because I like working with scrapbooks and there's some notebooks here and uh, I, I work with little prints when I'm editing. Um, um, Beyond Drifting, Mandy Barker, more Stephen Gill. Um, I think you're goodness. I think that's you, it. You could name every book, but I could name every book. <laughs> Donna Lixenberg, if I remember. Donna Lixenberg. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, George. <laughs>